actions in the build-up to this deployment, and I am satisfied that you are up to the task. I have been taken through the motions this morning by General Nyaga, who will be the overall commander of the East Africa Regional Force, and I am confident that you are well prepared to undertake this noble, necessary uh, national duty to protect not just our region, but all its people as well. I have assured the CDF of the government's firm support to the Kenya Defense Force in the excellent work you continue to do for our country in various fields. These noble and patriotic tasks include peace support operations like the Africa Transition Mission in Somalia, the United Nations Force Intervention Brigade in the DRC, as well as the upcoming East Africa Regional Force uh, for defending our collective borders. We are committed to do our part in providing resources to equip you to shoulder this solemn responsibility of defending our country and contributing to regional and international peace and security. I take this opportunity to ex express gratitude to all the commanders and troops of the Kenyan contingent assembled here today, and I also thank everyone who has worked so well and tirelessly to make sure that the team achieved the highest level of mission readiness. On behalf of Kenyans, I want to assure you that I have done extensive consultations on this deployment, and in the last 48 hours, I have talked to the Secretary General of the United Nations, who has given his tacit approval of this mission. I have talked to the Chair of the African Union, who also concurs under the African Union Peace and Security Council that this deployment is necessary and is important for regional peace and stability. I have had extensive consultations with the East African community leaders, starting with our chairman, the president of Burundi, President Museveni, president of Rwanda, and we have all agreed in what accord that it is our collective responsibility to keep our region and our continent safe, and it is our responsibility to confront criminals, terrorists, and all negative elements, including armed groups that terrorize our region, denying us the opportunity and the possibilities that exist in our region for prosperity, for growth, and for development. In that extensive consultation, 